We turn now to our partnership with George Washington University's Planet Forward, which seeks out innovative ideas to help our environment. Today, could robots ever replace bees and pollinate crops? A Harvard robotics team says its imitation insects could be in our farming future. Planet Forward host Frank Cesno has more. You've seen them buzzing around your yard. You may have even been stung by one. But you might not know that bees are responsible for one in every three bites of your meal. Bees are essential to pollinating crops from almonds to watermelons. But with bee colonies facing worldwide population decline, there's a real problem. So Harvard professor Robert Wood decided to tackle the challenge of creating a robotic bee. Yes, a robotic bee challenge that requires an entirely new approach to robot design. If you're going to make something on these scales, then there's absolutely nothing that you can take off the shelf. RoboBee is the smallest self-powered flying robot ever designed. Working on such a small scale required some big innovations in manufacturing. Funded by a grant from the National Science Foundation, Wood says his manufacturing process came from an unlikely source, children's pop-up books. Essentially, building the bee by folding electronic elements. Which, not coincidentally, was inspired a lot by my son's library. Today, the bees fly on a tether and require a large external computer array. One of the challenges moving forward is packing the bees with a small battery light enough to provide self-contained power. Now, could a robot be used to pollinate crops? We ran the robo-bee idea by the Department of Agriculture's Bee Research Laboratory. I could see them being used in agricultural settings in the future if they become sophisticated enough to be able to learn how to handle flowers and know which flowers and all are receptive. So you could see them being used in pollination in the future. According to Wood, the robo bee is still 20 years plus away from being put to use, but he still sees room for immediate impact. Using these, these robotic bees to get kids excited and, and perhaps even pursue uh, careers in, in engineering or science. Changing the way we design robots, creating a buzz about science, and maybe moving the planet forward. For Planet Forward, I'm Frank Sesno. If you have an idea you would like to submit, visit planetforward.org.